guys. I'm coming at you from Ocala, Florida at the beautiful Jockey Club. I'm actually doing this uh, frequently asked questions a day late, but <clears throat> I had to travel, so. And I've got Johnny here, he's gonna help me out. So, uh, frequently asked question that I had was how do you maintain a calm and relaxed mindset when you're at shows? The biggest thing about competing and eventing is that we have three phases. So uh, I try to really just focus on the phase that's happening during that day um, and not worry about, um, you know, sometimes I have people go, oh, did you see the questions on cross country? And while I may have walked it, I'm really not going to focus on that. Um, so it's really about focusing on one phase at a time. Another thing I do to help me relax is uh, really work on um, breathing. So if you've watched my uh, helmet cams, you, you will hear me like in the start box before I go, I take a couple of really deep breaths to kind of oxygenate my blood and really keep my nerves calm. Um, and then it's really about a positive mindset. So, and creating a kind of mantras for yourself. So, you know, like I can do this or I deserve to be here. Uh, it's really, it can be overwhelming, especially going to the really big events. So for me, when I went to Kentucky for the very first time, you know, that's like huge deal, lifelong dream. Couldn't believe I was there. Uh, kind of a trick I did to myself was uh, I was also doing the demos with the Mustangs. And since I had done a demo with them uh, the year prior, I just kind of pretended I lied to myself a little bit and said, you know, I'm just here doing the demos and like really nothing else is uh, happening. And that I was able to kind of stay m more relaxed by not really putting so much emphasis on it. So I had to like be careful because Sometimes my dad would be like, oh my gosh, Elisa, can you believe it? You're here, you're walking out here. And I'm like, shh, quiet. No, I'm not. I'm just here to do a demo. Um, so kind of playing like tricks on your, uh, your brain a little bit and really trying to stay focused and relaxed can hopefully help you guys. Uh, those are some tricks that I use. Also, I like to, uh, when I'm about to go out to cross country, I will listen to um, my Spotify and have some good pump up songs to kind of get me ready and uh, excited to get out there. Johnny's actually being a good boy and we're walking quietly. Good job, Johnny. How do you know when to move up a level with a horse? So generally when I'm bringing along my young horses, um, it's, it's dependent upon the feel of the horse. So really it's when they feel bored at the level. Um, so when they're uh, going around a novice and they're just, you can just tell they're, it's very easy. They're not struggling. You want to make sure your horse feels very confident at the level. Um, and essentially I like to be schooling my horses a level above what they compete. Let me see. What was the third one? Third question. Mm, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I seriously am drawing a blank. I got to go back and cheat and look. The third question is, I'm really frequently asked, uh, what breed Johnny is. So, um, Johnny is a thoroughbred. He is bred in Australia. So he's Australian thoroughbred. Um, he was actually raced in Queensland and raced 10 times, not very successfully. And, um, then after that, he was taken by, uh, a woman named Simone Khan who then started his retraining and then uh, shipped him to the States to be uh, sold as an event horse. Really fun kind of fact about that, his uh, jockey club name is Kalinga Damo. Don't know what that means. Now Kalinga is the name of the farm, um, the stud farm that bred him. He is a off the track Australian thoroughbred and he's an awesome cross country horse and three day event horse. Right Johnny? 
thanks guys for watching my facts frequently asked questions uh and again thank you to all of my subscribers and my patreons uh and if you guys haven't subscribed and would like to do so make sure that you uh not only press the subscribe button but then also press the little bell so then you're notified whenever I post a video. We're coming into the competition season. We got shows start starting up soon, so there should be more videos coming your way. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you guys later.